This Super Bowl, even the commercials are taking a hit from COVID-19. But why? Some of the most iconic brands, famous for their viral moments, are benching traditional ads in what's usually the most watched TV event of the year. No Coke, no avocados, and no Budweiser. Why did you guys decide to pull the ad? We really looked at the Super Bowl as an opportunity to see how we can make a bigger impact using our advertising dollars. We acknowledge how important Super Bowl is, but we knew that there was a bigger calling to help raise awareness for vaccines. With each 30-second spot costing an estimated $5.5 million, Budweiser plans to spend nearly that much on campaigns educating people about the vaccine instead including this digital ad that feels more like a public service announcement. Let's turn our strength into hope. This year, other Super Bowl stars like Hyundai and Pepsi are also sidelining their pricey commercials and moving the ball in a different direction after 2020 hit some bottom lines hard. You've got these companies that for months and months and months now have been grappling with deep financial pain who are now thinking, do I really want to spend something like $5.5 million for 30 seconds during this game? It's not the first time companies are trying to meet the moment. 20 years ago, after 9-11, Budweiser showed their Clydesdale horses kneeling before ground zero. And this year, tone is everything, too. I think that the Super Bowl is always a reflection of the cultural moment that we're in. So look for commercials that address social justice, the struggling economy, and getting through this pandemic together. This is where it's tricky for brands because they can get accused of purpose washing. If they just try to bandwagon and say that, you know, we're here for for unity or we're supporting Black Lives Matter, but they're not backing it up uh, with actual actions, then they're going to be called out on that. Rushing in to replace some of these more traditional brands are companies that have thrived during the pandemic. Are you going to buy the car? Please, if I could just go home and discuss things with my wife. Among them, Vroom, Fiverr, DoorDash, and Scott's miracle Grow. And although mainstays like Pepsi are punting on their in-game commercials this year, the brand will show up in other ways doubling down on its halftime show sponsorship after releasing an ad early during the playoffs. And Budweiser will be blitzing you too, but on social media instead. We are still going to be present on game day. I can't say how. We're going to definitely make sure that the Clydesdales are still at the center of this tradition of Super Bowl. So we're still going to be there. Now, even though Budweiser is sitting out their regular commercial, you will see an ad for Bud Light out there as well. And one more really interesting thing, guys, according to Adweek, there are still open slots up for grabs for a hefty five and a half million dollars if you're in the market for a 30 second commercial. Compare that to last year when the TV network said they were totally sold out by Thanksgiving. So there are some new questions about whether CBS will be discounting the spots as we get closer to game day. There is so much on the line for everybody here, advertisers and the NFL alike. That's really interesting. That's so interesting. But then if I pay $5 yeah. million for a spot and then you get it for $2 million. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Should we advertise for this show? Yeah. Then, yeah. Should we raise, raise Will they some pay funds? $5 million for that? Joe. See you, Joe. Joe, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.